afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon over here at Cable Channel 3 sitting in for Jim Lakey and today is Monday October the 21st and our mission here at Cable Channel 3 is to serve older adults helping them to pursue independent and active lives of quality. They are enriched and supported by learning and serving activities for care, in a caring fellowship way as expressed in the 23rd Psalm, it says. And that's why I always invite you to come over here and meet us in the, at the Shepherd Center where there is always a warm cup of coffee waiting for you. So come by and visit us anytime. We are here to serve. Today, the weather pattern for the rest of the week all over the country is one for cold, cold, cold weather. And for, for us here in the Midwest, as we are, we are in the heart of this cold weather pattern. The temperatures generally will be 10 to 20 degrees lower than average. And in Nebraska and Kansas, we should see some milder temperatures though, right around the 60s for the high. And all through this week, there will be rain and snow around the Great Lake areas. And through Tuesday, there could be accumulation of one to four inches and um, in the, to, to the north of us. And a weather system called the Atlantic Clipper will sort of charge through the Midwest and bring in mostly some light rain with it. But right here in the square this morning, the skies are blue and they are cloudless and it is bright and sunny and the temperatures are right at 48 degrees and the wind is almost breathless. It's just at three miles per hour coming in from the north northeast. But for the next six hours though the winds could start to shift coming in from the west to northwest at five to ten miles per hour as the temperatures rise to the low 60s for the high. So we can expect a high today of around 63, and this with uh, a lot of sunshine, lots of sunshine, and a humidity of 47%, relative humidity. And tonight's low could be as in the 40s with mostly clear skies and a humidity of 64%. Tuesday, we can look forward to a high of 68 uh, with still sunny, and a low of 38 with the winds coming in from the northwest at about 21 miles per hour. And Wednesday it should remain mostly sunny with a high at 72 and a low of 40. And the winds coming in from the south-southwest at 40 miles per hour. So this pattern will remain with us. It will probably get cooler towards the um, end of the week also. In our community. Um, yesterday was quite a busy one. Um, the, over at the Catholic Center, they had a good turnout for their um, Thanksgiving um, turkey dinner. Uh, good turnout there and um, many persons from our community came out to celebrate with Dick Smith his 70th birthday. His children hosted the reception for him and at the Fishers Bar where his children and friends both lauded him and roasted him. It was fun. And there was much laughter, good singing, and healthy fun for everybody. Congratulations again to Dick on his 70th birthday. But for today, we want to wish some happy birthday to Jack Davis. It's Jack Davis's birthday today. And tomorrow it would be Nolan Tatum and Jennifer Gillespie. And then on the 23rd, it will be Lila Hula. So wish these people a happy birthday as you see them going across, going through the city for the rest of the week. And tomorrow um, is the commodity distribution at the Sunflower Service Center. Do remember that if you plan to pick up a basket or the, the goods for somebody else, uh, other than yourself, you need to sign that paper. So come by the center tomorrow 
uh, from 9 to 11 at the Sunflower Senior Center for the Commodity Distribution. And mark your calendars now for the rest of the week. Um, the, from the 20th to the 26th, it's the Friends of the Library Week. And this week has been going on for several years now, some seven or so years. And it's a time that's been set aside to recognize the, the volunteers, the people that help in the library. The, it celebrates the Friends of the Library volunteers who volunteered their time and donations. Uh, they donated funds to help um, purchase books and to, for programs for the young people and to help facilitate different programs for the children. And this year's theme is nomination, nomination. You'll see little gnomes all around the, um, the grounds uh, in the yard and that's in, to encourage you to get your 2014 membership. Uh, the memberships are $10 for single and $15 for a double. And if you go by the library, they will also give you a, a certificate for a cup of coffee or cappuccino. So do uh, um, help the library with those efforts. And visit them at the Ida Long Library at um, 4 or 5 North Monroe. Mark your calendars also for the Thursday the 24th. It will be here before we think about it. And the EMS Department of Stafford County is inviting you to attend a Come Look See event at 7 p.m. Um, on the 24th at the Stafford Economic Development Center at 634 East 4th Street. That meeting will inform you on any upcoming EMT training sessions. And if you're interested in getting some EMT training, that could be useful in times of disaster or just accidents or whatever. They have that set up for you to come and, and investigate that. So if you're interested in that activity, please do that on Thursday the 24th at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, um, the, it's a drug take back day. It's been sponsored by the um, Stafford City Police. If you have any unused prescription drugs that are outdated or unwanted, this is a great opportunity to discard them. Um, they will take back all of those drugs and discard of them properly. So you can clean out your medicine chest, your kitchen cabinets and side tables with all those uh, medications and take them over to the Stafford County Hospital from 10 until 2 uh, on Saturday the 26th or call them at 620-549-3504 for more information. Mark your calendars also for Thursday the 26th. Um, they will be having a pizza, pizza and movie, pizza and movie at uh, Poppy's Pizza, and they will gather at five o'clock uh, and leave at six o'clock for Great Bend, where the movie will be. So mark your calendars for Saturday the twenty-six. Pizza at Poppy's Pizza. They do a great pizza and movie at the Golden Bell Cinema in Great Bend and the cost for that is twenty dollars. Look forward to that also. And on Sunday the 27th is there will be a His Hands puppet at 6 p.m. at the Hudson Community Hall. His Hands will be in performance and it is, it is a 40 minute puppet show and it will benefit Operation Christmas Child. And this ministry, Operation Christmas Child, is being sponsored by the Samaritan's Purse. And they're the ones who help children all over the world. And what the volunteers do, and your, you and other people in the community can get together 
shoe boxes full of Christmas presents for the children all over the world. And um, this performance promises to be action filled with lots of good humor and laughter for the whole family. The doors will be open right at 6 o'clock, but the actual performance starts at 6.30. Uh, it, it's free. There's no cost to come in, but they will be accepting a free will um, donation, your generous donations. So do call over the Trinity Community Church at 620-458-5300 for more information. That sounds like a lot of good fun for the whole family and I'm sure the children will enjoy the puppet so do mark your calendars for Sunday the 27th and do remember that this is the season for open enrollment uh, for your Medicare Part D from October the 15th through December the 7th is a standard period for the open enrollment for the prescription drug coverage on the, um, the Medicare Part D. And this is the time to address changes to your current drug plan. Any formulary changes that the um, companies, insurance companies have themselves and any financial and um, assistant changes. All of those um, factors changes change periodically. So this is the time to do that and it is a time to make a comparison with the different um, companies as they as they offer up their their insurance coverages and it is said to remember the three c's when you're looking at this it's cost coverage and convenience so this is a good time to overlook your plans and for more information um, you can call SWACA. SWACA is the Southwest Kansas area on aging. And they have a 1-800 number, 1-800-742-9533 or 620-225-8230. Um, and Rick Schaefer is a contact that you can make at SWACA. And I know they have been having um, local um, affairs where you can do that too so do keep an eye out for that again mark your calendars for November the 6th and that will be the Maxwell Christian Church they will be having their soup supper and bazaar this is the time of year for soup supper and bazaar but they're all very good lots of good food and lots of good company so on November the 6th from 5 until it's finished um, it will be chili vegetable soup chicken noodle soup homemade pies and they too will have a raffle for a hundred dollar meal raffle and the meals to go if you want one to go please call at 620-348-3205 and they will off will take a free will offering also for that um, supper. Sounds very good. And on our menus for this week, over at the Maxville Center, they're offering a, offering some Polish sausage for lunch today, with served with mashed potatoes, sauerkraut, a bun, and mandarin oranges, and. Tomorrow they are offering up some roast beef, some scalloped potatoes, some California blend vegetables, and bread pudding. And on Wednesday it should be Tahitian chicken, mashed potatoes, Italian vegetables, and a pudding of your choice. And over at the Sunflower Center, today it's Grilled steak with mushrooms, buttered potatoes, breaded tomatoes, stuffed peach salad, and a cream tart with topping. And tomorrow it should be roast beef with gravy, creamy mashed potatoes, parsley, buttered beans, buttered carrots, a fruit salad, and sherbet. And on Wednesday it should be baked pollock with tartar sauce, baked potatoes, 
um, Japanese mixed vegetables, sliced potato, tomato salad, and lemon lime dessert. All very healthy. And do please remember to call if you need your meals delivered to you. They're, they're happy to do that for you. You know, we have been talking about some flu fighting um, foods, and today our flu fighting food is tea. And green tea, black tea, and oolong teas all contain natural occurring anti inflammatory compounds that reduce the risk of flu. These include curcertin, a powerful antioxidant. It also includes L-thiamine, an amino acid found naturally in tea only. And decaffeinated teas also contain these flu fighting compounds, but the herbal teas don't. So to enhance the anti-flu effect of the teas, um, use your tea with some fresh lemon juice and honey. So our food for thought today is tea and take it with honey. Have a great day.